It's a 28 foot payette. We updated the style on the payette this year. I just tried to modernize it a little bit more. In this version, I just took what I've learned from modern architecture and some things I've gleaned over the years and added them to this model. We're trying as hard as we can to get away from the tiny home look and get more to a home or modern architecture look. And the client was really willing to explore a little bit, so I was able to have some freedom updating our style. This was actually a little more than a staging because the customer actually wanted the belongings to keep. She had us buy everything for her, things for the kitchen, all the furnishings, all the bedding. She wanted a, like a bohemian hipster feel. So she wanted to feel young and fresh. She also came up with a color palette that she wanted. She had boundaries like no blues, definitely warm colors. She sent off, I don't know, three little clips off of her phone, texted them to me, and then I used them to come up with a whole design. It depends on how you do it. Like if you do all your shopping at Target, it'd be a lot less expensive if you went to you know, high-end designers for everything. They custom make the pieces and it takes several months. In this case, we used a lot of things like CB2, Pottery Barn, so that we could have the quality of items. So there should be things that last forever. To fully outfit the tiny home the way that we did, probably comes out to about thirty-five dollars to $40,000. So you can just walk in and everything's ready for you. You've got forks, spoons, coffee makers, pots, pans, napkins, towels, everything. It's just ready. You can jump right into bed and it's ready to go. I really fell in love with after having it in the space especially. I knew I loved it when we picked it out but it was really nice once it was in there. Actually the chandelier is probably my favorite. The way that it adds kind of glamour to the space. The space was really rustic with all the textures and then it added this like really light delicate glamorous glistening element to it that was just like perfect. Every time I stage a tiny home, I'm trying to paint the picture of what the space can be like and what the experience can be inside of one of the homes that we build. What do you hope people take away? If they're watching this video and seeing what you guys did with this, with this tiny, what do you hope they take away from it? I hope it, that they feel inspired. I hope people come to us and want to buy tiny homes. 